Welcome back to another baking video. In today's video, we are going to be making a two pound loaf of French bread in the Hamilton Beach Bread Maker. If you haven't watched my last baking video, we baked the basic two pound loaf of bread and today we are doing the French bread. Make French bread. This is everything you need. You just need some bread flour, sugar, salt, and bread machine instant yeast. Once this is opened, it has to stay in the refrigerator. So just wanted to mention that. Not a whole lot of ingredients you need for this recipe. Hamilton Beach Bread Maker should come with this book that has recipes in it. And today we are making the two pound loaf of French bread. This is everything you need. And we are basically going to just go ahead and get started. It's pretty straightforward, but there are ways you can mess up and I've done that in the past. So that's why I'm making this video for you. A quick look at the machine open it up and make sure your paddle is locked in and attached. And then you should also see that you have the handle here, which you can unlock to the left and lock to the right. Make sure it's locked in. We're going to keep it in the machine as we add our ingredients. Now that we're ready to get started, we're going to go ahead and start adding the ingredients in order in which it's, they're listed here. So we're gonna start with the water and end with the yeast. You would think that this would be self-explanatory, but unfortunately it's not. So I will show you how I add everything. So one and a half cups of water, you can just go ahead and pour that in. Next is one and a half teaspoons of salt. Also, I'm using these measuring cups and spoons that come with the bread maker. And they have a line on here to show where the halfway mark is. So we're just going to pour this all around. That's one teaspoon and then we need a half more. So I want to note that I'm adding the ingredients all over the pan because I watched a previous video on how to do this and they suggested keeping the ingredients in each corner. That did not work for me. I'll insert a photo here of the disaster that it turned out as. So now I'm doing one and a half teaspoons of sugar. Again, spreading this all around because we don't want a disaster like when I made it before. <laughs> the sugar actually makes the French bread sweet just a little bit, which is what makes this really good. In the basic loaf, you don't use sugar, you use vegetable oil. And that's actually why I prefer the French bread because this one's a tad bit sweeter. Okay, so now four and a half cups of bread flour. Make sure it's bread flour, not regular flour. So that's four and a half cups bread flour. So now that I've made an absolute mess, we are moving on to the last step, which is two teaspoons of bread yeast. And this is where the magic happens and this is where you cannot mess up. In previous videos that I watched on how to make bread, I had listened to advice that did not work for me. So what I'm doing is evenly spreading out the bread flour in the pan because as we know, the yeast can't touch the liquid water at the bottom. So we're just making this nice and flat. The advice that I heard, which you should not do, is to instead of making it flat like this, to, to create a dome or a volcano like this and then put the yeast inside, do not do that. It does not work. You are going to make a flat surface. Spoons of yeast. And instead of putting it directly in the center where the dome would be carved out, we are not going to do that. Trust me, it does not work. Again, I will insert another photo of what happened when I did it that way. Your bread will not rise properly if you pile all the yeast in the center. What you need to do instead is sprinkle it all around the flour.
right and here is the second teaspoon i am not a baking youtuber by any means but this is something i've learned and feel passionate about showing you guys okay guys so that is literally it you are going to shut the bread maker and now we are going to adjust our settings as you see here they are all listed we are making french bread which is the second on the list which means we're going to come over here and pick the second one for the menu instead of 13 so you're going to click this menu button and have it say two and then we are also going to look back at our book and it says for the two pound loaf which is what we did to select the dark for crust color so we're going to come over here make sure that two pounds is selected you can change that by doing the loaf size there we go two pounds and then crust color dark so four hours and 20 minutes start and there you can hear it go all right now we're going to clean up and in a little over four hours eat some really yummy french bread <laughs> Okay guys, now we are going to open it. It's been over four hours. Look how beautiful it looks. Yay, so this is the final product. I just brushed melted butter on top and it looks so good. Thank you for watching the video. Comment down below if you decide to make this French bread and let me know what you think.